Welcome back everybody, Chips Treasure Hunts. Today I'm at Jack's Beach again. I think it's week three, day three. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna give this area a go. I haven't been here yet. Last night I dug, I think I counted 30 quarters. I didn't video them at all, but I just wanted to see because it seemed like a lot. Um, and some people are asked, I don't know if you can see my handle here on my extreme scoop. Uh, these scoops, so you know they have like a cross hatch in them. So they will absolutely eat your hands up. So what I did is I bought, I think it's two and a half inch um, shrink wrap tubing. And what I did is took some paracord and wrapped that, took the inner cord out, wrapped the flat cord around it, and then put this on and shrink wrapped it and boom, and it's nice. Uh, then eat your hands up, don't have to go through a bunch of gloves, and um, it's got a good grip, it's still sticky, it's, it's awesome. So, anyway, bring you guys up when I find something good. First target, started as a 40, but it's going 50 to 80, so it might be a zinc. Who knows? Ah, one of those. That's okay. I had to go put the sock on. This wind is actually howling. Okay, right, got a screaming. 75 to 80, it's probably gonna be a bolt. Got a feeling. Turn out the blast and with the sand, that's a penny. All right. I got a 78, I just put all the hole I had to move because got kids running around. Something about YouTube and kids, I guess. There we go. Might be silver, gold plated silver. Nice earring. Alright, cool. Earring. Nice. And from 20 to 40 on top. Missed it. Should be in the scoop. And you see the wind is absolutely blowing. I'm trying not to crush people. There's people everywhere. There we go. Look, the beach loves me. Looks like a Pandora charm, maybe? A heart? Yeah. That's definitely like Pandora or something. So it's either rose gold or silver. It's got some weight to it, at least. All right. Got a 52 on the surface. Should be a paint or something. No, I see a ring. There we go. 52. Pretty little pretty junk. Might be silver. Never know. But it's a ring. I think it's. Uh, ring number two today. Nope, oh, ring number one. Got an earring and a heart. All right, cool. All right, I'm gonna keep swinging. 69, 70 something, could be a dime. Be right in there. This wind right now is blowing probably 30, 35, 40 knots. I mean, it's it's unbelievably bad. Dime. I mean, it is blowing. It's making it hard to hunt just to walk against it. So if there's people at the beach, they're gonna be hunkered up against the dune probably. So that's where we're gonna hunt tonight. Again, against the base of the dune. 18, 19, but kind of sounds irony. Let's see what it is. Just junk. Yep, sorry for wasting your time on that one. Just dug this in the wash house, just coming down here to check it out. And that was a 14, a little stud earring. Nothing special. But there you go. Solid six in the wash out. Right garbage, but that'd bring you along. Not as solid as this foil. Yep, foil. Foil is loud. Alright. Keeps on. 
probably junk. It's giant. It's probably bottle or something. Who knows? When I said bottle, I meant can. <laughs> All right. Got a 90... I don't know, 2037. It's kind of something sticking out. There you go. Eyeball bling bracelet. With a heart. Some junk. Kind of wait until everybody get off the beach. I mean, there's so many. Seriously, like so many stupid, ignorant kids out here just acting stupid. Like they don't know how to behave. Seriously, it's like they don't know how to have a good time without being absolutely ridiculously stupid. And I could go into more detail, but then I'd probably get censored and called all sorts of names and everything else. But you guys know what I mean. You see it too. It's like, I don't know. I guess I'm old school, but we didn't act like that. So our dads kick our ass up and down the street in front of the cops. You know, two ways to Sunday, no doubt about it. You act like a fool, you know, you're gonna get it. So, lack of parody, that's all I can say. Smells like a big skunk's ass out here. Bring out the next one. All right. Screaming 24, 25, oh, there it is. Crap. That's probably the 10th battery this week I've pulled off the beach. Yeah. People just don't care. Whatever. That's what they got us for. No, what you gonna dig at the beach? Pretty sure that's a mason straw. <laughs> All right, get that one. A solid. Well, not so solid. Seventy-one, seventy-six. That sounds good. Doesn't sound like junk this time. Right, there we go. Another ring. I think number two for today. Yeah, I'm going to call that bling. Plating's wearing off. It's pretty, though. All right. Keeps... 889. Maybe another quarter. But I'm seriously, guys, I'm not kidding. I've already dug probably 15 today. And a ton last night. Now, there's one guy on YouTube who always says, oh, it's Metal Texan with Gary or whatever. He always says, you know, he dug a big gold ring at a quarter signal. I've never, at the core, I found a lot of gold rings, but I never dug anything that high range in gold. Silver, yes, but not gold. How long the video is going to be, if I film every one of these quarters I find right here. Here's another one. Um, another quarter. <laughs> I don't know, 30 to 60. Sounds like crap. Ha! How many cans am I going to pick up today? This will be number six. Here we go again. 61 to 73. Big numbers. Sounds like a big target. I mean, not a big target. Something down there. Ah, what's a big target? Oh, I messed it up. Fancy, super fancy. Sorry, guys, I was looking at it myself. Super fancy earring. Look at that. Turn that into a fish and lower spin, 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 spin. Bassmaster 2000. All right. 253 I know it sounds I mean it's screaming like a penny but god no it's just gonna junk and it's all right now they're ringing up 50s and then 70s out all right look at that told you picking up the cans and I've got a screaming 16 hopefully it's not junk ah I swear every time I do it it's junk sorry guys not sure what this is I I thought it was foil at first, so I almost passed it up. But, bring up like gold? Who knows, but it's super light. So, it is gold, it's worthless. It's All right. I'm 48. There we go, look at that. 
I got a copper toe ring. Right by the trash cans. Went back to the same area. I've been hunting. I've been hunting in a couple days. Let's see if it's filled up with any crap. 789. Solid. On top. Whoa. Look at that. Right on top. What? Alright. The thing I've been finding is junk. Yeah, that's got weight to it. If you've been doing this long enough, you know the feel of gold, just the way it feels in your hand. There is a hallmark there somewhere. I see one there too. I mean, it's there. I don't know exactly what the hell it says. That, that's a little gold bracelet there. Finally. Whew. It's only been four hours. All right. I guess I'm staying in this area for a little bit. 910. It sounds good. This side beach. It's been a minute since I found anything good. Oh, it fell through. Hold on. Oh, it's so cold. Oh, okay. That be a belly button here ring. Nine ten. All right. No corrosion. Maybe it's real. You see that? All right. Keep on. Okay, new target. Thirteen fourteen. Sorry about that. Ha <laughs> ha. There we go. Another ring. Alright. It's really small. It's got the right numbers though. I hope that's a gold ring. It's about time. Jesus. Yeah, I can't there's a hallmark in it. Can't read it. Oh, that's another ring. Tell you what though, man, it's a big, big difference in what I'm finding this week from last week, is, or even earlier in the week, because basically all the high school kids are out now. The cops just rolled right through here about five minutes ago, and they're like, oh, he's all right. I've never had a problem with the cops, especially if I'm out there. I mean, they're, they're usually pretty cool. They know we're not updating anything other than just looking for some stuff, so... Damn, I was getting ready to leave this area too, but now I found that. Now I gotta actually grit it. Ugh. Yeah, anyway, there's a lot of kids on the beach right now. Doing kid stuff. Alright, I'm gonna keep. Whoop. Eight, eight, nine, eight, probably near a quarter. I'm finding them pretty regular. Oh, quarter. Alright, I gotta stay in this area for a little bit. Bring you back on the next target. Alright, I thought this was garbage. <laughs> I guess. Yeah. Alright. Five. Maybe six, but it sounds like crap. When I moved it, I saw it. There we go. On the ring, and I am thinking that is junk. Yep, 100% junk. Stuck right to the magnet. That's okay. Still a ring. Yeah. All right, turned off too soon. There's actually two of them. There's the other one. And as I said, it's high school kids out, so. I don't expect a lot. So that's junk too. 41, 42, that's usually a really good number spot. That's really good or it's really junk. And so far it's been junk. This time, look at that, folks. 
Boom! Cross. I can already see the copper coming through, but that's kind of cool. Sorry about the light. I'm not paying attention tonight. Cross. Should be a shitty necklace here somewhere. Oh, look. I kind of see it sticking out of the sand. It's like, oh, my, a couple times. It's gold. Oh, that's going to be a gold earring, folks. This side of the beach is looking good. Barely picked that up, too. Barely. That little gold, man, it is hard to find. So I've been rubbing my coil against the ground like this. Alright, now I gotta go try to find the other one. 50, 54. Back at the base of the dune. Oh, <laughs> that's hilarious. Kachink. Holy crap. It's right stuck on there. There you go. Super heavy steel. Crappy earring. Uh, you know, it's funny. It's, I saw four other people out here detecting for dark. Every single one of them. Thank you didn't have that. You know why? It's a program. They watch too much YouTube. And what happens is they get programmed. All they want to do is go hit the water. So that's what they're doing. They were all down there by the water. All down there. Every one of them. I was laughing my ass off. I'm thinking, one, it's blowing 40 knots. It's freezing cold. And no one's swimming. So why the hell would you go down there? Everybody has been up here in the dry sand. That's where I've been finding everything. Way up high because the wind's blowing like crazy. But you guys do what you want. I do what works for me. Uh, new target. Uh, 26, somewhere in here. Same area, I've been finding everything. A butterfly? Moth? I don't know. Copper? Mostly copper, probably. Alright. What's funny is I know it's kids because I'm finding these like cigarettes and those little bottles, you know, from the airlines, that sort of thing. Like shit they can hide easy from the cops or whatever. So, it's probably a bunch of kids down here partying. This is why you wear shoes to the beach. That is a carpet blade for a razor. Someone was carrying that around today at the beach. Yeah. You don't want to step on that. That'll ruin your day for sure. And it's going right in the garbage. Yeah. Kids these days. Oh, I thought it was garbage. That's one of those. This is a large prairie though. That's kind of cool. Stainless steel. Huh. All right. Keep the target. We're going to have like total garbage, but it's got a high chirp to it. It's not using its junk jewelry. And I think I can get it out. I am correct. It is Madam Butterfly. As junky as it gets, too. Alright, I'm hot. There's a wind laid down, so I'm heading back towards the truck. I'll keep going. Uh, a384, super tired, kind of over it. I mean, found a lot of good stuff tonight, but man, three nights in a row, walking six to eight miles or so. Oh, good lord, there we go. I am whooped. That is definitely silver. A little emerald or something, I don't know. I don't know, it's a ring. I don't even know how many I found tonight. I know this thing's full, and that's always a good hunt. Plus, tons of quarters. That thing is super full. Some good stuff, some junk. But unless I find something really good in the next 50 feet, I will see you guys on the next hunt. Okay? Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe if you want to. I'm not worried about it. Like I said, I'm not trying to monetize anything. I got a job. I'm just doing this for fun. Take you guys along. Hopefully, you guys learn something. Or teach me something even, you know? Hell, I'm always learning. You know, you stop learning, that's when you're in trouble. But, you know, like, subscribe. It's kind of cool for me just to, yeah, those are m, &M Kind of cool for me to see how many people watch it and everything. But like I said, 
I'd primarily do this because my son thinks it's cool. You know, because I wouldn't waste my time if it wasn't because it takes a lot of time to all the editing and all the BS that goes along with it. You know, so like, subscribe, share it with your friends, you know, comment if you want to. It's all up to you. And uh, there's my ramp, and I will see you guys on the next hunt. Peace.